Hello! How are you guys doing? I know I'm running late and I should have had my glasses on for the opening shot. Sorry about that. I just got off of a meeting and therefore did not have a chance to get my stuff as set up as I normally would like. So I've got my mirror in front of me with all of my products. I'm going to tell you about the look today that I'm teaching is called Sweater Weather. If you give me a moment, I will share screen so you can see the look. It's just a matter of opening up the window and sharing it with you guys so that you can see it. Ta-da! And let me see if I can get it so I'm as big as... There you go. Much better. You can see me and the look. The colors today are Moonstone, Smoky Quartz, and Shiny Penny. There's nothing in here. That's why it's blank. I will be using our brush set and some of my favorite products, including our Fanorama Mascara. Lash primer before it, obviously. I will be using our limited edition liquid matte lipstick and cinnamon and the lip oil, so we'll actually see a shiny lip look. I'll be using our waterproof liquid eyeliner as well as probably the copper, not the silver, limited edition liquid eyeliners, but I brought both because I hadn't decided yet. So I've already got my base face on, saving you guys time. I'm going to turn the lighting up a little, a little too much there so that I'm a little more balanced. And I'm just gonna start with the all over color brush. And I'm gonna start with that lightest color of Moonstone. I've already got on my cheeks a uh, shy blush. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And I'm wearing CC cream along with the uh, TimeWise 3D, my brain's having a moment, um, foundation with IntelliMatch, basically our newest foundation. So I'm just, pardon me, mirror. I put the lightest color in the upper part of the eye. Now, these are all shimmery. Not everyone likes glitter. I don't blame you. I'm just using it to brighten the inner corner and the brow bone with this uh, moonstone. Some people might use crystalline. I find that maybe a little too bright. This is more of a muted look. I'm going to flip over the brush and use that same brush with the smoky quartz on the lower lid. Not going to go too heavy, although I have eye primer on. Not needed, but it actually works very well with our Chroma Fusion eyeshadows. So, not heavy duty. I could go deeper, I just choose not to. I'm going to use the crease brush to get Shiny Penny. This is the one that's going to show up the most. As I put it through the crease and in the inside outside corner. Kind of ties the other two colors in together. I don't usually do metallic shinies. And I don't usually mix warms and cools. But this is a very interesting look considering it's basically a mixture. I'll turn up the light in a minute when you to see better, but I just need to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to use the blending brush to kind of soften over any distinctive lines. We don't want our color to be too over the top. This is a daytime look. If you really wanted shimmery, we do have the limited edition liquid um, glittery colors, and I didn't really want to go there today. So I'm going to start with eyeliner, and again, I need my hands for this, so I'm going to look down at my mirror for a moment. Instead of my usual wing, I'm doing a very thin and tight line because if I'm going to do a second line, I don't want it to be too much. If you're on and want to comment, please do. If you give permission to stream right, I'll see who it is. If you just say hi, I won't know who it is unless you put your name in the comment. Um, that's just the way StreamYards is. I think I want to go with the copper just because it seems to be more user-friendly with these shades. So as you can see here, it's a little tip, not a full, full brush. And the idea is I'm going to use this from the inside corner. Overlapping, but not exactly hitting the black. And again, I'll brighten up the light in a minute so you can see it better. It's just a fun way to add a little extra color, and I figured it goes nice with the shiny penny. And again, like I said, I always like to use Lash Primer. Before mascara, and of course, you put it on wet and then immediately put on your mascara. 
So this way, it uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's it's kind of um, like nail polish. You put a base coat on, and then you put on your actual nail polish. So the Fanorama brush has a curved side and a flat side. The idea is it's a it's a lash low formula, but it's the shape helps you get it where you want it and separate out any lashes that are like clumping together. Kind of a widen and then separate look. Some people like our ultimate mascara or our lash intensity for that really full, full look. You can get a pretty full look with the Fanorama. It just takes a little effort and not getting eyelash in my eye. That would not be good. So now we're just going to finish with a little finishing spray and a little lip color. It's like blessing yourself with finishing spray. <laughs> so this is a matte liquid lip, but the idea is you can add the lip oil for a shinier look. I like the control you get with a doe foot applicator, but even then I sometimes still make mistakes. This is a little fuller lip than I'd wanted, but it looks nice. I'm not complaining. Just I'm used to doing a, a thinner upper lip and a thicker lower lip. So I'm going to let it dry for a moment. And this is the cinnamon limited edition matte lip. And I'm going to add the lip oil. This is the dedicated demo for my mouth. So as you can see, well, maybe you can't see. There's a little bubble of oil there. Don't need a ton, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of a coating. And, of course, I'm going to wipe this off with a tissue in a minute once I'm off camera because I do not like recapping something gooey. If you're looking for these colors, the limited edition mascara and the limited edition liquid lip, are available now, and you would be in this catalog here. And as I said, I'm going to crank up the light so you can see some of the details. Again, it's a little intense, I know, but. And I will take a photo and put it in the thumbnail so you can see the finished look. But this is called Sweater Weather. It's fun with some metallics, but nothing super duper glittery. I'd like to think we did it short and sweet, and I will put this up on the YouTube playlist as well. Do keep in mind, we have some fun stuff coming up later this week. I am going to be starting the holiday gifting series very soon on Saturdays. My virtual open house is the 6th. The Big Pink Friday sale is November 26th. And, of course, if you need to get your holiday shopping done, please consider me as I would love to help you. I have everything fully stocked, wrapped, and ready to go. If you're local to me, I deliver. And if not, I mail it to you, usually through the Postal Service, flat rate shipping with a tracking number and insurance so you don't have to worry about back orders or things being out of stock or not getting there on time. So just keep me in mind. Lots of stuff at different price points ranging from $15 to $150 in multiples. So if you need gifts for like the babysitter, the dog walker, your hairdresser, and so forth, I got you covered. Have a good day and glad to see you. And as always, hope you see life through K. Rose Carol's Colored Glasses. Bye.